Good morning, my name is Tanya Clegg. I'm the awarding body coordinator here at CICM. I'm just going to like to take you through to the login uh, process to um, go onto the Pearson View website in order to book an exam, either credit management, trade export consumer, business law, business environment, taking control of goods or consumer collections. The first thing you need to do, you will need to log on to Pearson View's CICM landing page. This is www.pearsonview.com forward slash CICM or indeed uh, at the Pearson View homepage, you'll be able to go from test takers to schedule an exam. And in this ready set test, you start typing the word Chartered Institute and you'll have a long list coming up. Find the Chartered Institute of Credit Management CICM, click on that and it will take you directly to that home page. So either way, you'll be able to get in. It's a lot quicker if you just put the pearsonview.com forward slash CICM into your browser, your, um, your Chrome browser, and you can actually save that um, on there. This is your land at home page for Pearson View. So it does tell you about the um, exams and the booking um, side of it. Um, you actually have to be a member of CICM um, to book your exam. So at the start of your registration with CICM, we would have automatically sent over to Pearson View your data once we processed your membership. And on doing so, they would have automatically sent you a email to create your password and account um, on Pearson View. Now, a lot of the times we realise that this may have been um, lost in your emails um, because you're not actually expecting that email to come through once you register with CICM. So this is a way in which we can actually show you how to retrieve your uh, data that we've actually uh, that, that Pearson View has already created on your behalf. Now, if you know already know your login details for Pearson View, which is completely separate to login details to our CICM members area, it's completely separate. This is Pearson View's website, so we're um, so you can log in using your um, login details. Otherwise, you would need to press "Forgot my username," and in doing so, what we're trying to do here is is find out what your username has been created. And we can use the CICM ID and email address. Now, the CICM ID is the same as your membership number. So you just need to put that in there and the preferred email address in which you put down on your registration form with CICM and then press submit. That will then retrieve automatically on the screen your username. Write this down because it's very important you keep this. We're also going to um, do the same so you can do your back button or um, and do the same for forgot my password. Click on my forgot my password. And again, now that you've got your username, you can actually put that in there and press next. Otherwise, do the same. Click on CICM ID and email address. Add these two fields in. Click next. And what this will do is it will generate an email to come to this preferred email address to recreate a new password. So you have to take the time and follow the steps carefully. So click on the email link that you were sent, then create your new password. And then doing so, it will also ask you to create some security questions. Around about three, they ask you. Um, so once you've done that process, write all of that important information down and keep that safe um, because that's that's how you're going to log in to Pearson View. Once you've logged in using your um, username and your new password, you'll get to the, uh, the dashboard, the exam dashboard. And this is where you will be able to um, access your exams. Thank you.